Welcome back, Frank here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to review the Harbor Freight Forstner bit set. All right, guys, so here's the bits. They come in this plastic carrying case. It snaps on like this. All right, it's got a little window you can see in it. These bits range from one quarter inches to two and an eighth inches, all right? Now you can tell that I've already used these. They work good, but we're gonna do a review of it anyway, and I'm gonna show them to you in action. It has a spot for each bit in the case, and it's labeled. You see a quarter inch, two and an eighth inch, two inches, and so on. Also, each bit is labeled what it is. See a quarter inch. See right here, two and an eighth inches. Now the shank on these bits are three eighths inch, so that means they should fit into any drill press or any regular handheld drill. Now these bits are not carbide tipped, they're made out of carbon steel. And that's okay because you can sharpen these bits. If that's something you'd like to learn how to do, let me know and I'll make a video like that. Okay, my first impressions opening these is they're all very well built. They all feel good. They all seem to be straight and have straight cutting edges with the exception of the one and five eighths bit. Now, I don't know if you can see this here, but it's got like a chip missing out of it. If you turn it around, you see that? This is the only one that's like that. All the other ones have straight cutting edges. Okay, so this is the cutting edge on these. It has the center piece here, and it has these. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do today is I've got some red oak laying out, and we're gonna try a couple of these bits through it and see how it, see how it does. All right, let's get to it. Now, this is my Harbor Freight Central Machinery five-speed drill press. This is a pretty good drill press machine. If you'd like to see me do a review on this, let me know. So let's get to it. All right, so test this. We got this scrap piece of red oak. This is three quarter inch thick and we're gonna run several holes through it. We'll try the smallest bit, which is quarter inch. We'll try one approximately somewhere in the middle, which is one inch. And then lastly, we'll try the biggest one, which is two and an eighth inches. All right, let's do it. We'll try the quarter inch first. That went through it no problem. I didn't go through all the way because I wanted you to see how nice of a hole that leaves and how nice of a bottom that makes. Can you see that? Very nice. All right, let's try the one inch. Man, that worked really nice. That went through it no problem. It cut it like butter. And look at that hole. Look at the bottom of it. Look how flat it is. That turned out really nice. All right, let's try the two and an eighth inch bit. Don't have my chuck tight enough. It should be good now.
Now this one was a little harder to get through. Then again, it was a two and an eighth inch bit. So it takes quite a bit of horsepower to spin that bit through something like this. Remember, this is hardwood. This is red oak. It's very dense, very hard. But look at that. That's a very nice hole. It's very round. The bottom is very flat. You can see a little bit of swirl marks here, but that's it's not that big of a deal. You can fill them a little bit. But this is ultimately flat. The walls, they're very straight up and down, and they're very round. They're very smooth. All right, I think that these are great drill bits. Now, just for curiosity's sake, let's try the one that has the messed up cutting edge on it. And that's this one. The one and five eighths. All right, let's do it. Now, even this one did very good, and it has that messed up edge. You can see right here, it has like a little bit of, I'm not sure if that's tear out or what, but this is really good. I'm, I'm really satisfied with this. All right. Now look, this is the quarter inch. This is the quarter inch hole, the one inch hole, the one and five eighths inch hole, and the two and an eighth inch hole. These are all very nice. All right, guys, let's go over the pros and cons of these bits. Let's go over my final thoughts and opinions on them. I think these are great bits. You know, these are Harbor Freight. They're $45, uh, like $42, $43. After tax, I'd say around $45. It's not, that, it's not that much money. It's a pretty good deal. Now, it's not made out of carbide. Now, that's not, I don't really think that's either a pro or a con. Okay, so what's that mean? If they was carbide, you wouldn't have to sharpen them. But then on the other hand, you wouldn't be able to sharpen them when they got dull. Or if you could, it'd be very difficult. Now, these are carbon steel, so that means they will get dull over time. But if you keep the heat done on them, they should last longer. Since they will get dull, you may have to sharpen them from time to time. The one and five eighths inch, like I showed you, it has like a divot or something in it. Works really good, so I'm not even going to consider that a con. Ultimately, I think this is a good choice. I think if you need some Forstner bits, that you should pick a set up. Are there better ones out there? Yes, there probably are. But are these good enough for me? Yeah, they're good enough for me. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining me. I, I, I hope I've helped you learn something. Hey, if I've helped you, help me. Like my videos. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments and questions below. They're always welcome. Anyway, guys, till next time. We'll see you.